Zendu Nation, what's going on? It's your boy Brandon. Welcome to another video by Zendu Fitness. Today we are in Medellin, Colombia. And before we get into this video, I thought it'd be interesting for you to hear me share my experience living here in Medellin. Uh, in total, last two years, I've been here about a year and a half. And it's nothing like you see on the TV shows like Narcos or the upcoming movies that are coming out. You guys have to understand, Pablo Escobar was around 30 years ago. It's like it's a completely different planet. Imagine even where the US was or England was 30 years ago. It's a completely different world. Highly recommend any of you coming here, checking it out. Come say what's up to the Zen dudes. And the coolest thing about Medellin is that it's a gem. So many people are afraid to come here because they have so many misconceptions about what life is like. So now you know Medellin's super dope. We're gonna be shooting a lot more videos here over the next few months so you can get a better idea of what the country of Colombia and the city of Medellin really look like. On to the video. Ain't nobody got time to work out these days, right? Ha, can you feel me? Ha ha, no, seriously. If you ask anyone at this point, everyone's so overloaded that they really do feel like they don't have time to exercise. So this video today is for people who don't have time to exercise. I'm gonna take you through a little five-step formula that I've created to help you get workouts in when you feel like you really don't have the time. Step number one, budget 10 minutes into your calendar every day that you wanna move your body or exercise so you have it there and it's plugged in and you have to acknowledge it and take the moment to make that decision. Am I gonna do it or am I not gonna do it? Because if it's not even in your calendar, then sometimes you'll just go through your entire day and not even think about it. And so you're laying in bed and you're thinking to yourself, oh yeah, I was planning to work out today. This can be in the morning before you go to work, at lunchtime, during one of your breaks, after work, just fit it in when you can, it's only 10 minutes. Step number two, you need to be bringing your jump rope with you wherever you go. There's no excuse not to. If you don't have a car, just keep it in your backpack or your purse or your man bag, whatever it is that you carry stuff in. Put your jump rope in there and so you always have it with you just in case earlier in the day some time opens up. You can whip that for five, 10 minutes and you'll be able to get your workout in when you didn't even think you had time. Step number three, go ahead and pack yourself some workout clothes. A lot of you maybe have to wear a certain professional attire when you go to work, so bring a workout bag with your clothes in it so you can switch real quick and be ready to jump some rope. Step number four is when you really feel like you don't have time to exercise, only commit to doing four minutes. Now you're gonna put a 10 minute budget for this workout that you're doing, but you're only gonna actually move your body for four minutes of it, and it's gonna be a four minute high intensity Tabata workout. Ideally, the most optimal Tabata workout you're gonna do is four minutes long, but it's gonna be absolute all out effort. The great thing about Tabata is when you commit for four minutes going all out with everything you have, it will be enough to speed up your metabolism for the rest of your day. Well, that's pretty cool. Commit to four minutes, and just because of that four minute workout, your body's gonna speed up, your metabolism's gonna speed up, and your body's just gonna feel better. Now, when you're doing Tabata workouts, you need to make sure that you're only doing exercises that contain movements that you can do with all out effort. You can't do a plank at all out effort, right? But what you can do is jump rope. So if you do jump rope run in place, you're gonna be able to take that intensity as far and as high as you can go. Versus when you're doing a plank, you're pretty stagnant, you're not really moving that much, and so you can't really increase the intensity. So that's why specifically coming up in step number five, we're gonna be going into a Tabata style jump rope workout. So when you don't have time to exercise, do this Tabata style workout that's about to start in three, two, one. Right into it today, jump rope regular balance as fast as you can. I want you to look at my feet and say they're barely coming off the ground here and you gotta do the same thing. If you wanna spin this rope fast, you need to be barely jumping off the ground and you wanna be spinning this with your wrist, not your forearms. Here we go, five more seconds, give you everything you have this set and we got a rest coming up now. All right, catch your breath. All we got is four minutes here. Give it everything you have. I want you to completely expend yourself in this next set. Ready? Run in place, let's go. Again, we want you sprinting here. It's like you're sprinting away from a cheater or a lion or some vicious animal as fast as you can. Spinning that rope with your wrist and barely bringing your feet off the ground, giving this everything you have here. Run in place, come on. Three more seconds, finish strong. Yes. Yeah. All right, relax. Next exercise coming up is jump rope feet front to back. And again, with this exercise, I cannot express how important it's gonna to be to get everything you have. Let's go, feet front to back. Spin this rope as fast as you can, and you're gonna be pivoting those feet as fast as you can as well. Shuffling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 
You only got eight exercises and you're done with this workout for the whole day. So give it everything you have. This is the third one. You only have five more after this. Three more seconds. And rest. All right, next exercise coming up, jump rope, high knees. I want you to really focus on exploding through the balls of your feet and driving your knees up on this, all right? Here we go. Just like I am, exploding those knees up, getting them up to about uh, waist, waist level and you're exploding them up every single rep, whipping that rope as fast as you can. Give this everything you have here. Only five more seconds, finish strong. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You're already halfway home. You're halfway done with the whole workout for the, for the day, for the day. So rest, get your breath here, and get back to going in as fast and as hard as you can. Jump rope, side straddle. Exploding back and forth, back and forth here. Don't worry about messing up. If you do mess up, that's completely okay. And we actually sometimes encourage it. We want you just to give this everything you have and spend all of your energy on this workout right here over these four minutes. All right, relax, chill. Next exercise coming up is jump rope, butt kicks. We want you exploding those legs up behind you and doing your best to kick yourself in the butt. Here we go, let's go, begin. And just like every other exercise, you're giving this everything you have. It's four minutes and you're done for the whole day. You only have a few more exercises here, so finish strong. There you go, finish strong, come on. Give it everything you have. We'll leave it all out there on the field, yo. All right, next exercise, jump rope, feet side to side. Again, on this one, I can't express how important it's gonna be to explode in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And again, whipping that rope with your wrist, keeping everything tight, keeping your core tight, keeping your glutes tight, keeping your knees slightly bent, your arms out at a 90 degree angle, expending all of your energy here. Five more seconds, come on. Finish strong, let's go. Here we go, this is your last exercise for this workout today. So if you've given this everything you have, you deserve to just feel good about the rest of your day. So here we go, double unders, ready? Begin. If you can't do double unders, just do regular bounce as fast as you can. Whatever you're doing, give it everything you have. You got 10 more seconds for the rest of your workout. All day, you're done, you can go chill, do whatever you want. Finish strong, finish strong here. You got three seconds, give it everything you have. Let's go, boom. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel. Also join our free four week challenge where myself and Dan will coach you up. We'll give you four weeks of free jump rope workouts. It's a ton of fun and you can click the button in your top right hand corner of your screen or click the link down in the description and you can join just by entering your email.